Okay, Steve, we're here at the Regina Farm Progress Show. Um, lots of producers here, a lot of industry here. Uh, what is the egg job market like right now? If, if, um, there's a demand for egg people right now. There's, there's always a spot for a good person to find a job in the agriculture sector. Overall, there's a pretty severe shortage of people in professional jobs in the agricultural business. Okay, so when we say the agriculture sector, you're talking about farms, you're talking about industry, and whether those people are salespeople, technical, research, kind of the whole gamut. We cover There's the gamut, need. yeah. The livestock side can use more people, the crop side can use more people, uh, grassroots level needs more people on the farm, mm -hmm. sales and marketing, research, executives, there's the spots for uh, people all over the industry. So, is the, is the, is the pool shrinking? What's, what's going on? Absolutely. The pool is shrinking. There's fewer people coming into our industry and there's a, a lot of gray hair in our industry. We've got people that are in their 50s plus that are looking at retirement and there's not enough of a talent pool to replace those guys that are retiring. And, and, and when you say uh, there's a lot of gray hair in the industry, you're also talking not only on farm, which is very obvious, but also inside the industry. Absolutely. At all levels, in all places. Yeah. Okay. So why has this happened? How, how, did, we, how did we get here? shortage of the yeah, talent yeah, pool. Yeah. I think the uh, young people that uh, traditionally came from the farm and stayed in the agriculture, they've been listening to their parents and the parents for years have been saying whatever you do, <laughs> don't get into agriculture. And so these young people that uh, traditionally would have been in the agriculture industry for their careers, now they're into other things, you know, health care or computers or whatever mm -hmm. it might be that's attracted them. Really sucks when kids listen to their parents. Hey? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so, uh, you know, in your mind, you're uh, you know you're heavily in, entrenched in this business as far as uh, placing people and you know understanding what some of the needs are. Uh, are we seeing uh, an influx of people that didn't grow up in our industry coming into it? There's a little bit of that going on. Yeah, we've got people coming in from, you know, the environmental side, uh, keeping the planet green and plants and and that sort of thing, the plant science folks, uh, there's a bit of that coming on. And employers are realizing there is no ag person, the traditional grew up on a farm person that'll fill this job anymore. So now they're opening up their minds and their doors to uh, young people from the city that they're gonna have to train and teach them how to sell these agricultural products. Is one of the issues uh, in agriculture as far as the pool shrinking, is one of the issues that we don't pay enough? It used to be. Okay. There's been a dramatic increase in the wages over the last uh, four or five years. You know, in, in many cases it's doubled. The guy that used to be making 16 bucks an hour is making 30 bucks an hour now. The guy that used to make $50,000 a year is making $100,000 a year now. So we have done a, and it's supply and demand, right? We've been forced to start paying competitive salaries to people to keep them or, or to attract them to our job. Mm -hmm. So that isn't as big of an issue now but we still have the reputation of being a low paying industry because traditionally we have been. So if we don't, uh, obviously, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but it sounds like if we don't start to make some changes in recruiting people into this, or either keeping people in the industry or recruiting people into it, uh, 10 years from now, we're gonna have a real problem. We've got a real problem right now. Okay. You know, uh, 10 years, it's gonna get worse because there's gonna be more people retire and the gap between the size of the talent pool and the demand is gonna get bigger. Um, so yeah, it's, it's serious. We've got to take some action of, of telling people that ag is a great place to work. You know, it's, it's stable, it's sophisticated, it's cutting edge. Uh, what more could you ask for in a long-term career move? Steve, thank you much for joining us today. My pleasure, thanks.